On the surface, the Yellow River looks deceptively vast and serene. Since China's economy spluttered into life 30 years ago, pollution and overuse have increasingly plagued the country's mother river. Today, the shortage of water threatens to hold up ferrymen and businessmen alike. To deal with this problem, the government is undertaking the world's biggest plumbing operation. In the farm fields of Hernan, giant pipes and tunnels are being constructed under the yellow, so billions of tons of clear water from the south can replenish reservoirs in the dry north. The Guardian is the first foreign media organization to descend the shaft, the most complex section in a 3,000 kilometer long system of diversion channels. Engineers say the challenge is unprecedented. <laughs> The bypassing of the yellow is the ultimate test of the government's policy of scientific development, an engineered solution to the country's dire environmental problems. But it's heading into an uncertain future. Last week, the authorities announced a five-year delay. Off-camera, people in the south complain the diversion will make their own water problems worse. Work is now going on at full tilt behind me on this greatest of Chinese mega projects. When it's completed, millions of cubic meters of water will be flowing through this channel where I'm now standing. The authorities hope that it will solve the water shortage problems in the north. The question is whether it will create new water problems in the south. With these issues still unresolved, progress will be slow. Those looking for a solution to the Yellow's problems still have a long, long way to go.